Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a restoration hardware vessel dupe. If you're like me, I've been hearing about restoration hardware for the last couple years now, and it is on fire and all over the internet. So I decided I'd like to try my hand at DIYing one of those restoration hardware vessels. I have three vases uh, that I've already owned. They are terracotta. I love the shape and I love the texture, but I'm not happy about the color. Um, so I don't necessarily want to completely cover it up as much as I just want to change the color. I want to give them a chalk paint finish, and this one is called Primitive. And I got this from Home Depot. And then I want to give you another look. I have another vessel that I already own, and I'm going to try a separate technique on that. But we'll talk about that later. I think I also may go in and add just for a little depth of color, maybe. We'll see. I might like it as just as it is, but I might want to go in and do a dry brush of yesteryear. We'll see. So I am going to use my pouncer and I am going to pounce some uh, primitive all over all three bases. And let's see what we come up with and see if I need to take it any further than that. So let's get started. Make sure before you leave, hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Don't forget to leave me a comment and I'd appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. Today's video is in conjunction with the Look For Less Challenge. And this challenge is hosted by Yami of the Latina Next Door. And her co-host this month is Corey at Desert DIY. I will leave a link to Yami's channel down below in the description box, along with the playlist of the other content creators playing along today. I've been researching online how to make um, your vessel look more like a terracotta clay pot. And um, I saw lots of fantastic videos out there about how to make your own chalk paint using baking powder and acrylic paint. Now I saw this done with a pouncer as I'm doing and I also saw it done with a uh, stippling uh, motion that you would do with a paintbrush. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out. And make sure you follow. I like that, you guys. I like that a lot. As you can see, this one here is a pretty quick process, and I like that. As I said earlier, I've had these vases for some time now. Um, I don't know where I got them from. I, I more than likely got them from Home Goods. Vase number three. I can't wait to see what they look like when they're dry. Alright, all done. I got primitive on all three bases. I'm going to let that dry and I'll be right back. Now for the second look, I'm going to use a different technique. I will be using spackle, which comes pink and dries white. And the restoration hardware inspiration for this vessel is this look. And it's going to give me a really deep 
natural stone look. That's what I'm going for on this vessel. Um, this vessel is, um, I think it's wood. And I know I got this from Home Goods. Um, I liked it at the time, <laughs> but I'm over it. So I want to keep the vessel because again, I love the shape. Just don't, just don't love the color. So I'm going to turn this and this wooden vessel into a stone, a faux stone look. So I'm going to take spackle and just cover it. And I think I got to work relatively quick. Feels like cake icing. That's about the, the texture of this. It's like cake icing. Move quickly. Don't try to change my mind. In fact, honey, I've already packed all my stuff. We're no longer kids, let's move on. I love those looks. That's not necessarily the look of my entire home, but I can uh, incorporate a little bit of that restoration hardware look areas of my home. And I do mean just the look, <laughs> because these vessels are quite expensive. And um, I saw a, a lot of that look at Home Goods. So I thought I'd add a couple of these pieces to my home. I might even pick up one or two. Let me make sure I've got coverage too. So texture and coverage is the goal at this point. And then once it dries, I am going to hit it with the stone paint, with the um, the Rust-Oleum stone textured paint. You make sure you put it down inside the neck of the vase of the vessel as well, so that uh, when you add your greenery, or if you don't add any greenery, it looks like um, you got complete coverage. All right, guys. So I'm gonna let this dry, and I'm probably gonna let this one dry overnight. Then tomorrow, I'll come back, I'll spray paint it with the textured stone paint. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy my version of a restoration hardware vessel dupe. I want to thank Yami of the Latina Next Door for the open invite. If you did, now's the time to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also appreciate a thumbs up. Now at the end of this video, you're going to see a couple links. Click one of those links to see more Home Decor by Creative Glam. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.